Hello everybody, welcome to our channel. I'm your host, Good Videos Do UK, and I am absolutely thrilled to have you here with me right today, partner. You've come to the right place if you're looking for quality entertainment, exciting gameplay, and insightful commentary. Today, we're going to dive headfirst into the deep, mesmerizing sea that is the world's online universe. I want to know my truth. I need to know truth. Ask yourself if you know what truth is. Ask yourself if you really allow yourself to be free enough to find the truth about truth. Free yourself as much as you need to in order to do this. This seems impossible, does it not? In order to find truth, I'd give up everything I ever believed in and everything else I ever desired. I'd starve, I'd become homeless, I'd shun everyone I loved, I'd forget all I learned, I'd erase every memory of comfort. If you're new to the channel or just haven't done so yet, don't forget to subscribe. By subscribing, you'll join our expanding community and you'll never miss an update. Plus, it's a great way to show your support for what we do. All becomes pointless and shallow. All energy directed elsewhere away from my goal becomes wasteful. The world shrinks around me and closes me like a fruity shell around the center of a Tootsie Pop. All people are useless now, I look down on you for existing alongside me. The only movement I make is along the deepening path of the figure eight I scrape into the ice inside my head. Now, I'm an avid gamer, but I don't use joysticks or computer mice. I use a good old-fashioned D-pad so there's no way my figure eights look like the number eight. They're way blockier. They sort of look like eights, but I messed up a little because I've never drawn an eight like this before, so you can't be mad at me, okay? I'm not kidding, you're not allowed to be mad at me. Gra Grrrr! Gurgle, gurgle. Gris, grid, a bag, go. Papa Lilioyo, harumph, harumph. Now, after all that chatter, it's time to get our game faces on and venture into the captivating world of Worlds Online. Now, let's get this show on the road. In Worlds Online, you can import any characters that you want to, or really anything. I'm playing as Gravity right now. Gravity is one of the main characters in the Newtonverse, which is a fictional universe created by the famous science fiction writer Isaac Newton. My friend is currently playing as the crafting system. He takes items and crafts them into other items for people when they're trying to craft. Sometimes he steals things, though, because he says he's a fricked-up villain with an evil backstory. I think he just likes to steal. The process of selecting a class is more than just choosing a playstyle. It's about embracing an identity within the intricate world that Worlds Online brings to life. So why gravity, you ask? It's because I love doing the calculations for gravity for every single player online at all times. It's so much fun. I also love to DM people things like, you break both of your legs whenever they jump from a height that would break their legs. Not all characters have legs, but I love breaking legs the most out of all the body parts of this universe. The other day, I ran into a guy named Ponky. Time seemed to move slower. I became more irritable around other people on the server. I noticed my sentences were shorter, and I wanted things to go back to normal, but something in me was pushing against that desire. The stronger one, the more automatic one. That was the one that wanted to cut short all time spent away from Ponky. I put three iron nuggets and a CD player into the crafting table. My friend understood it. I was asking him if there was something wrong with me. He replied by turning those items into an MP3 player. I turned it on, and the first song that played was one called, Nothing is wrong with you, you just fell in love, so love is all that seems to matter. You'll be able to enjoy other things after a while, it will just take some time. This is all very normal, just remember to be kind to others. The song was by Yours Captain Six. I modulated Ponky's gravity so that he would never get hurt so that he could always go where he wanted to go in one jump, so that he could do anything he wanted to. He could fly, even, if he so desired. He didn't even have to ask, I just watched his character, tracked his typical actions, conversation topics, etc., and built a profile of him so that I could more easily predict his wants and needs. I never once directly messaged him or interacted with him. The last thing he typed was, this game is a little too easy, but yeah, I'll be on. See you guys tomorrow. Now, we're off on our first quest. We find ourselves stepping into the enigmatic universe of the Journey of the Lost Amulet questline. This isn't just another quest. It's a universe filled with intricate and intriguing details. The graphics in this game, 
They are nothing short of stunning. We are talking about the magnificent color palette, the realistic textures, the smooth transitions, and the breathtaking landscapes that make you feel as if you are in another world. It's a visual treat that is sure to mesmerize any gamer. As the light flickers off our avatar's armor, we're left in awe of the level of detail involved. But blood fills the screen, shiny and turgid, full of diseases. It fills me with disgust. These horrible creatures who play this game love the blood update, but I can't stand having to go to the doctor every in-game days to check on my hepatitis C status. It's horrible. You step into the doctor's office, wait in line to check in, and then sit in the lobby for like 45 minutes. They're always behind, they say at least. I suspect something more sinister is going on, but I don't know what. Every five minutes exactly, fatty liver disease. The cow the animatronic comes out from the ground and stinks up the place, listing the side effects and trying to sell Amazon subscriptions. It holds out the greasy sheet of paper and demands us to sign it with our credit card info. If someone doesn't sign it, it squirts us all with some liver juice and shrieks, spinning around the room, hitting walls and people, usually injuring a few so that the wait time is longer. Then it goes dormant again for five more minutes. The animal I hate the most is the Dr. Cheetah. It chases you around those tiny little doctor's offices while you wait for the doctor and bites you and hits you with its shitty front claws. They still scratch you, but not a lot. And when it gets close, it tries to bite you with its rubber teeth. The first thing the doctor does when they enter the office is give you a rabies shot, which sucks. I think they should just get rid of the cheetah, but right-wingers get so mad when I say that. We love the cheetah. Bleeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
and fear also grew in the hearts of the Soviet Union's legislative branch, probably. The judicial branch is kinda tough, though I don't know if they even know what fear is. If there is nothing to fear but fear itself, then I'm so scared of being scared by scary things like fear. That's what the president of World's Online Soviet Union said right before he killed himself with a mallet. Into the forest I go. And that wraps up our World's Online adventure. I hope you enjoyed this journey through this fantastic game. If you want more World's Online content, don't forget to drop a comment below. Thanks for tuning in, and remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay tuned with all our gaming content. Till our next adventure, happy gaming.